Hey guys, Ben Laberty here again today. It's Thursday and I'm with Dane Appleton and he is from the 100 Men Who Care Chatham Kent organization. And we're gonna to get to know a little bit about him. If you're watching this and you wanna ask questions, don't be scared, uh, ask away. If you have comments or opinions, also share those and hit that share button so other people can find out more about Dane and this uh, group and the wonderful things they are doing. So Dane, hey, thanks for coming. Thanks so much for having me, Ben. I'm, uh, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, and uh, you know, I've heard a little bit, I've heard about the 100 uh, women who care. So, and I haven't really heard too much about uh, the 100 Men Who Care. So can you tell us a little bit about, number one, who you are and what you do currently? Well, before we start, I just, I know that there's a tradition on this show that uh, <laughs> a gift is brought okay. to the host. All right. So I brought with me a nice lanyard for you, 100 a Men lanyard. Who Care lanyard Okay, you guys got lanyards. So we've been giving those out at, uh, at the meetings and... Um, Okay. So yeah, I figured you could have a, a, a memento from, from this. <laughs> uh, and I uh, put my keys on there yeah, exactly, and yeah. uh, all the important stuff. Uh, eventually we'll get name tags and yeah. stuff from that. I'll be important. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, well, thank you, man. You're welcome. So uh, the 100 Men Who Care, uh, Chatham Kent, it's, uh, it's an idea that uh, it actually stemmed from uh, a woman in Michigan. Okay. Who, she started the whole 100 Who Care uh, movement. Um, so what she did was um, she brought together a hundred women okay. um, who really didn't have a lot of time, um, had you know jobs, they were busy, but they wanted to, to make an impact. Right. And so uh, the whole idea is to have strength in numbers. So everybody gives a hundred dollars uh, four times a year. All right. Um, so we meet every, uh, every three months. Cool. And uh, so $400. And uh, you give your hundred dollars, and um, it's it's a great time. It's good for socializing, um, and just the community aspect of it all. To have a hundred guys get together, um, give back, and raise ten thousand dollars, it's pretty substantial. So your your hundred dollars can turn into uh, turn into ten thousand. So it's pretty That's special. pretty cool. Yeah. So um, how do you? What goes on? So I say I want to be a part of this. What happens after I say, hey, I want to be a part of this and contribute? Uh, do you have a meeting, like at the meetings and that? What's going on there? So if you want to be part of it, uh, most of our uh, signups come from online. Uh, we have a website. Uh, it's 100menck.com. Okay, and we're going to put that in there after uh, 100 men who care CK? Yeah, 100menck.com. Okay. And um, so that website, uh, it goes over uh, the rules that we, that we have as a group, um, how to join us. Uh, so there's, a, there's a, a form on there that you have to fill out. It's an easy form, takes about maybe two minutes. Okay. And um, it's, you know, it goes over your commitment, um, what we're all about. And there's also a, an FAQ section on there too. If you have any questions about what the group is, um, and what we do, what we're all about, you can find it there too. Awesome. Hey Paul, hey guys, non-political, but it is election time, very true. Chris Appleton, hey Chris, and Daniel Whittle. Uh, hey guys, way to go, Dane. Yeah, so how old are you? Like this is pretty uh, cool, you're young, um, I know your parents, and uh, you're doing some really cool stuff here. Yeah, I'm, I'm 23 okay. years old, and uh, uh, for the longest time I was actually in Windsor. Okay. Um, so I lived in Windsor for a while, and um, basically for my, you know, my adult type years. Right. Um, so for university, school, uh, and was able to come back to Chatham, and uh, you know, really great, get a great opportunity here um, to work and to really just build my future here, and it's really special to be able so, to. So what do you do? What's, what's your profession? What do you do? Uh, I'm a paralegal. Okay. Uh, I work for uh, Whittle and Company, the law okay. firm in town here, and. Um, yeah, so work with a great team there, and I, yep. I just couldn't be happier being back home, being able to just serve the community here uh, with their uh, for their legal needs and in terms of giving back to the community. Awesome. So, example, if I'm trying to get a part of this group and I'm kind of nervous, I don't know the whole group. There's a hundred people in it, or almost a hundred people. You know, what can I expect? Okay, if, if I signed up today, I sign up online. 
do I go somewhere after and is it intimidating? Because a lot of times uh, you get 100 people in the room that are all contributing $100. It could be intimidating for somebody that wants to be involved with that. Yeah, so once you make your commitment uh, online or whether what, with one of the chapter leaders. And by commitment, like I want to be a part of this, I've read this stuff, yep, hey, so, this is cool. Yeah, so when you sign up, uh, you're making a commitment for a year. So okay. that's four meetings and for $400. Uh, you don't have to be at all the meetings if you can't make it, right? But we do expect you to uh, still contribute your one hundred dollars for that meeting. So you do. It's each meeting you gotta have your hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, and we meet at the Links at Kent, uh, right. the golf club there, and uh, they've been great. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, four great sponsors who who have really pushed this off the ground, and uh, Links at Kent is is one of them, and they've offered their space to us. And each meeting is going to be held there. It's the last Thursday um, of the month and uh, the four times in the year. And so when you go to the meeting, you grab your name tag. Um, and, and it comes on a lanyard. Yep. So everybody has their own personalized name tag on this lanyard. Yep. Everybody has their lanyards. And um, we just sit down. We have a good time. There's, we, we encourage people to come. Uh, the, the meeting starts at 6 to okay. 7. Uh, but we encourage people to be there at 5.30 All right. um, because it, it's time to, to network with other guys. Yeah, and, and I, you know, I talk to a lot of people. I've created a pretty large network myself. And that's if you're in business or if you're uh, in sales or anything, I think it's a good opportunity to go meet people, talk with people, especially if there's 100. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, that's a really good opportunity. And, and the cool thing about it, too, is that it's not limited to any particular age okay uh, so there's people my age You're 23. I'm 23 right. um, we have a member who's even younger than me I believe he's 17 okay and um, so you know we have 17 year olds and then we have people who are 75 years old so the real great part of the group is that it's it's all about equality so yeah. every member puts forward the same amount of money they all have the same vote and um, it's awesome. it's it's a great way to meet people who are older than you, younger right. than you. Okay, so you get this money. Everybody puts a hundred dollars in. Uh, you know, where does the money go, and how does it decided that it goes there? So at the meeting, that's kind of the crucial part of the meeting. So what we do is um, we have nominations beforehand. Okay. Uh, so on the website, there's a there's a uh, a, a form for members to. Um, to nominate a charity all right uh, and they tell us why that charity needs help okay um, so they're expected to really do their homework do their research maybe even go to the the charity that they're uh, nominating right to really get a sense of what it's all about what they need um, so what we do then is at the meeting we draw names okay um, so out of the, or sorry, all the all the charities are put into a, a box to be uh, to be drawn if they've been nominated. Right. And uh, there's three that are chosen. So the person who has nominated that charity, uh, they come up to to speak to the group, make okay. a five minute speech uh, to the group, um, and it's not rehearsed. It's, right. It's all from what uh, they know actually know about. Yeah, and and, and it's it's from the heart. Yeah. So. Um, we do that three times. Okay. So those three lucky charities are drawn and uh, the guys make their pitches to the group. Right. And so after that's done, uh, we all vote. So there's a, we vote uh, out of the three charities, which one do you think is, uh, has the most need? Okay. And after that, we, we tabulate the votes and then we make the, you know, the big decision. All right, and where does, um, have you donated to anybody yet? Anybody yeah, else? so we had our first meeting uh, in July. Uh, it was the last Thursday of July. Okay. And um, it, it was great. So we had uh, 83 members for our first our first meeting. Um, 83, that's a big number. So, so we donated 8,300, or sorry, $8,400 because uh, one of our members was kind enough to give us $200. Uh, and that went to... Uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters at Chatham Kent. Okay. And um, we just had that check presentation ceremony uh, not too long ago. So do they ha have any clue? Because that's a good chunk of change to all of a sudden come into your uh, organization. Do they, they know beforehand? It, no. And that's why, I mean, they know that they're going to be nominated. Um, and that's pretty cool, right? Right. But, 
you don't know if you're going to be chosen, anything like that. So, for so example, I could go out there and I could find a, an organization that I feel could use a contribution, and I say, well, I'll nominate them. Mm -hmm. Is it, that's how it goes? Yeah, so we're looking more so for registered charities. Okay. Um, so, you know, a, any organization that has a, a charitable number, because the members who donate uh, the hundred dollars, right, they do get a, a receipt, tax receipt, yeah, right? from from the charity after the donation has been made, right. Um, they don't have to be a registered charity, right. But uh, you know, members just have to be uh, aware that they might not get a receipt for that. Okay. So, um, but yeah, it's all about what you think. You can take your pick at mm -hmm. who you think really well, deserves it. I think it's it. just kind of cool that somebody just bam, all of a sudden they get a good chunk of change towards their organization to, and I imagine the, the big brothers and sisters can do a lot with an extra yeah. $8,400 out, out of nowhere. Yeah, and um, it, it was really cool because one of the, uh, the member who, who nominated uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters, a guy my age. Really? So it's just a testament to, if you're a young guy, it doesn't matter, you know. You but you do gotta be a guy. Yeah, well, okay. there's the hundred, there's the hundred women who care, and then there's the hundred men who care. Okay, and um, your mom's a part of the hundred women, right? Yes. Yeah, so okay. without, and and I have to just, I have to commend them for what they've done because without the guidance that they have given us, the uh, Quinn and Rachel, the two who are the chapter leaders for the women. Okay. We wouldn't be where we are right now without their guidance. So right. they they have made a substantial uh, contribution, and I believe. Uh, this this uh, this month is their two year anniversary meeting. Really? Yeah. So 100 men, you cut it off at 100, and 100 women. Do they cut it off at 100? No. So we're called 100 plus for a reason. Okay. Um, and I believe the women are too. They have over 100 members already. Okay. Um, we're hoping that uh, we can get over 100 members. But well, you're so, a competition now. <laughs> yeah. So right now we're at uh, roughly we're at a I believe between 85 and 90 members. Um, yep. going forward and um, we're hoping that for this October meeting that's our next meeting October 25th uh, we're hoping that we can have well the, the guys as a group we yeah. we made a commitment right um, to have to all bring a friend to okay the group. so uh, we're hoping that that's we can day. we can definitely have over a hundred for the next for the next meeting and, and make an even bigger impact. That's awesome. Okay, so for the women and the men watching this, there is a, a 100 women who care mm -hmm. and 100 men who care. So pretty much it's anybody can join now that there's 100 men as well. Yeah, and, and okay. throughout, the, throughout the world, there's actually 100 kids who care too. Really? Yes. So uh, right now, Chatham Kent doesn't have that, um, but that's pretty cool too. So everybody can participate, everybody can make a difference. Okay, so we got one from Pat, 100 men who care. It's been in the news today that dialysis and cancer patients now have to pay to park at Chatham Kent Health Alliance because private funding hasn't, has been depleted. Um, oh, I, I keep on messing this up. Okay, uh, is this, this something where your group could earmark its money to give to CK, specifically money uh, must go to a parking fund? Also suggests this to the hundred women who care. I guess if you're a part of the group, um, although you know you want some uh, a charitable uh, organization, organization people could still lobby that and nominate that in their group. For sure, and they just know that there's no tax receipt. For sure, something. and uh, you know if that's if that's chosen, you can make that pitch to the group. Yeah. Ultimately, it's going to be up to the group to uh, take for a lot of parking to make the decision. Right. But there's yeah, there's no limit on if you if there's a cause that you really believe in yeah. that uh, you want to nominate, then by all means we encourage it. Okay, so Pat, the, the process, if I'm understanding this correctly, is that if you're a part of the group, you can nominate whatever you want. You just have to. Uh, you gotta go up there. You gotta speak, and you gotta be passionate. You really gotta care about that issue. And the more you care about that issue, I guess, the more votes you might get. And that's that's the whole part of it, right? Is right. that it's it comes from the heart. Right. And there's no rehearsals. It's right. just you talking about why you feel that that organization deserves uh, to get the money. So that's very cool, and that's it's actually a great um, comment here that we got, so we can kind of go over that about something you know, kind of a little bit different uh, about parking, which is a real issue, obviously. Yeah. Um, so that, that's kind of cool. Um, I'm going to ask you a political question, all right? 
You're 23 years old. You're doing amazing things here in Chatham Kent. You're a paralegal with a great organization. I know Dan Whittle and I know his company. How do we get more people like you to come back to Chatham? Because you were in Windsor. How do we get you to come back? Well, first if of all... If you guys are okay with me asking political questions, this is a good one. This is what we need. <laughs> well, first of all, I think that Chatham Kent is doing a great job because... Uh, me personally, I got to participate in the Back to CK campaign. Okay. Um, and that's something that I think is really cool that the municipality is doing. So I think that they're really focusing on retention. Right. Um, for, for youth, uh, for young people to come back and contribute. Um, and I really do believe that it's a great community. It's a great community to, to really build your future, to help out, to make a substantial impact so easily. Um, even by giving a hundred dollars, yeah, uh, four times a year, it, it's some it's somewhere that you can really make your mark. Awesome, Sue. Sue liked my question. It was a good question. Hey guys, if you have any questions for Dane, uh, he's pretty much covered pretty much everything. How many members do you have in the group right now? I believe it's between it's it's between eighty five and ninety somewhere in that range. Uh, but we're growing every okay. day which is great. And uh, we're really hoping that we can build a bigger, bigger group by October. Awesome. And we've, we, you know, we've just had some, I just have to talk about some of the people that really made this happen. Um, so I'm not alone in, in this group uh, as a chapter leader. Uh, my dad, Chris Appleton. Okay. Uh, my grandfather, Jack Carroll. I know Jack. And, yeah. and, uh, and my friend, Greg Arson have okay. all really played a key role and it's been a team effort. Okay. Um, this, this group is, it's all about, all about the group and it's all about the team. And I'm just humbled to be a part of a group of guys that are this willing to make an impact and this willing mm -hmm. to give to the community. Because uh, for me, it's, it's special. Just being, yeah. a, just being a young guy, it's, right. and it's humbling to be in front of doctors, lawyers, yeah. uh, politicians. Some of the guys you've had on this channel have been yeah. our, our key members in the group. And um, for me, it's, it's just amazing to, to be part of it. Awesome. So uh, what we're going to do next is uh, we're not going to do it live, but uh, Dane's going to walk me through how to join. I am not a member of the group. But I want to help get this to 100, and so I'm, I'm going to contribute just myself. And there's a number of reasons that people, uh, such as myself, I'm in real estate, okay, so I meet a lot more people. I like to network and talk to people, and uh, can you have a cold beer there too? Is that, yeah, and we, okay? we encourage it for sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do is you're going to walk me through after how to join and the whole process and that. And you guys should uh, consider doing that as well. Um, especially if you want to get out there and be social, because I imagine you're going to meet a lot more new people. And that's the thing. I mean, right. for, for, especially for guys my age, um, you know, whether they be in their, just trying to get their career off the ground, yep. something like that. Or trying um, to get more people to watch your live with Ben, <laughs> right? And uh, just trying to, to get the, your career off the ground, maybe yep. meet some people, shake some hands. Um, it's great because yeah. you're in the room with with guys who are are, are movers and shakers in the community yeah. and and those are the people that you really want to be around and and, for and, and a lot of them you can learn so much from exactly. and be inspired because a lot of times when you meet uh, people who have, who have done well or have a great career and they're doing stuff in the community you kind of become that and you want to you learn the process and know that it's possible to get to these places and I imagine that's a location where you can meet some of these people. Yeah, and, and that's why for, for guys my age, it's so humbling to be part of this group because these are your equals. Yep. And, and these are your, you know, this is the tribe that we're trying to be a part of. And uh, it's just, it's an amazing experience to, yeah. to be able to know that you've given this much money. Right. And you're a part of it. And to see a, an organization like Big Brothers who... Big brothers, big sisters, who who was really in need of of this money, and yep. it was a great uh, pitch by uh, Aaron Verschragen, who's a good friend of mine. Okay. Um, and he's I think he's twenty five. Okay. And um, he made a pitch about that, and and I think he just won the guys over. Yeah. Because uh, speaking about he went 
directly to Big Brothers Big Sisters, sat down with uh, Nan Stuckey, who's the, uh, the head person there, and really got a good sense of why they need it, what mm -hmm. they're gonna use it for, and how big of an impact it can have right. on kids, you know? And um, so you guys aren't, you're not just donating, you're learning. Like, yeah. People leave informed on where that money is going and why it's going specifically to them. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's two other uh, organizations nominated that, that night. And uh, you know, the one was the Shepherd's Way Inn, okay. which is downtown here, who they do some great work, uh, you know, just offering meals to people in need. And um, the other one was at the Children's Treatment Center. Okay. Uh, it was another, another great organization where um, really, you know, really tugging on the heartstrings of some of these yeah. guys that uh, with, with the speeches made about um, who needs it the most. Right. And, you know, they all need it. Yeah. And that's why we want to keep going so everybody can get something. Yeah. And everybody can be a part of this because we really do think that... Uh, this group can, can make a big impact for... And, and it's just a one-time thing. Like, and if you think about a hundred bucks, okay? A hundred bucks nowadays, okay? You go for dinner with two people, you're almost to a hundred bucks. Yeah. Especially if you order two beers. Okay, mm -hmm. two beers and a meal, it's a hundred bucks. So you're, you're really making a pretty big impact with your hundred dollar bill because you're, you're joining with almost a hundred other people well, and possibly two hundred yeah. everybody brings yeah. a friend. And, and for, for some people, they think, well, if I if I don't need a hundred dollars, yeah, that's that's great, but I don't really feel the effects of it. Right, right. And so, if you don't need a hundred dollars with a hundred other people, yeah, then that's when you feel the effect of something. Well, I'm part of something so much bigger. Yeah, and I'm part of this ten thousand dollar donation, or we're hoping it's fifteen thousand. Yeah, at some point. Um, and that's when it becomes really a, a huge game changer for some of these organizations, game changer for the people who, who rely on these organizations. Right. And um, that's when you feel the effects of what you're doing. Awesome. Hey guys, uh, we're going to wrap this up in a couple of seconds here. But if you have questions for Dane, uh, don't be scared to throw them in there in the comment section. He can answer them later. It would be great to have you do a presentation at the college. But there are some young men there who would join helping a charity and networking at the same time. It's a win-win. Yeah. Yep. And so. that's something that is just, it's such a great opportunity for, for guys that are, are younger and are looking to get involved. It's yeah. not a not a huge time commitment. Right. Uh, I know that the, the $100 commitment can be a bit more substantial for, for right. younger people who, who might not have the funds. Um, but it, it's definitely an opportunity that... Uh, it's about helping the charities and it's about yeah. helping the community, but it's also about helping yourself. You know, yeah. you can really meet some great people there. I've already met some good friends that I didn't know um, through the group. Um, and, and I'm just so happy that uh, we're able to keep continuing this because awesome. we, we think that. Uh, well, I think it's great. That's why I you know, wanted endless. to make sure I had you on because this is very cool. Uh, and you're very young and it's an, a very ambitious. Really, it is uh, yeah. to put together, uh, and it's really helpful to, to give back to the community. And, and and I have to and I have to give credit to uh, uh, my my gramps, Jack Carroll. Yeah, it was really his vision to to bring this to Chatham Kent. Uh, we had seen it in other uh, municipalities, right? But it just wasn't here yet. And yeah. we knew that the people at Chatham Kent, um, they're giving, they're willing to mm -hmm. do this. And sometimes all you need is a is a slight push. Yeah. And uh, the ball's just going to keep rolling. For and sure. we're just, you know, there's going to be more and more guys that uh, are willing to be part of this. Awesome. And we're excited. And maybe they're out there watching. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap it up. Dane, again, thank you for coming on. Thanks and so much. Uh, I'd like to have you back a little bit later once you break the 100 mark. Uh, and what, would you every three months or how often? Yeah, it's every three months. Yeah. Okay, so, when's the next? So it's October 25th. Okay. Uh, so it's three days after election day, by the way. So it's uh, October 25th. It's the last Thursday of the month. Okay. So we had one in July. Uh, we had one in October. Uh, I think it's January. Right. And then uh, April, I think it would be. If I, if okay. I'm remembering correctly. So hopefully we'll have you back uh, early November to see what it did and who it went to and stuff like that. 
Yeah, and uh, we're hoping that uh, the next one can be twice as big. Awesome. All right, guys, uh, do us a favor. This is very important, so hit that share button. Um, if you have comments, likes, or whatever, make sure you throw them in. If you've got questions for Dane after, he's also going to throw the contact information and the website information in the comment section uh, so that you guys can uh, know where to go and know how to sign up if you like. And there's also, just make sure you know, the 100 women who care Chatham Kent as well. So there's, it's for men and women. Everybody can get involved in this. Yeah. So, again, thanks, Dane. And thank you guys for watching. Thanks so much.